And back to some news now. Let's talk elections. The day before the mayoral runoff election, the two candidates are rushing to secure as many votes as possible. Latest polls show that it is a tight race. And WGN's political reporter Tamon Bradley is here with the latest on the day before. Tamon. Ray and Lourdes, good evening. In just 26 hours, the polls close and the votes are counted. An $18 million five-week contest is set to wrap up with Chicagoans choosing a new occupant of City Hall's fifth floor. Election Eve, one last day for the mayoral candidates to sway voters. I know our people work hard in this city, and I want the city to work harder for the people who do the work. It's about leadership, it's about somebody with the experience, it's about somebody who is a career public servant and has demonstrated the willingness to make sacrifices uh, uh, you know, for, for the public good. Recent public surveys give the edge to Paul Vallis, a technocrat, who early in the campaign seized on voters' concerns about crime. We will make all of our communities safer and we will tackle the issue of quality schools. Brandon Johnson, a Cook County commissioner and union organizer, is counting on a get out the vote army of the Chicago Teachers Union, SEIU and AFSCME to carry him across the finish line. We've literally knocked hundreds of thousands of doors. I believe we've made almost one million phone calls already. Um, we have a ground operation um, that we have not seen in a generation. I'm confident that the people of Chicago want a better, stronger, safer city. Um, and I'm taking that confidence into tomorrow. Over the weekend, both campaigns focused largely on African-American wards where Mayor Lori Lightfoot performed well in the February 28th election. The defeated incumbent has not endorsed in the campaign. I need the people of Chicago to, to, to trust one another and to love one another. With polls showing white voters overwhelmingly supporting Vallis and African-Americans largely breaking for Johnson, both camps have set their sights on Latino voters. As the campaign winds down, the candidates are keeping an eye on the weather. With storms expected tomorrow afternoon, the message on the trail was get to the polls today. With tens of thousands of vote by mail ballots not expected to be counted by tomorrow night, it could be days before we know the outcome of the election. Officials have until April 18th to count all the ballots, but we may be able to project how those mm -hmm. votes could go. All depends on the campaigns, whether or not one of the candidates chooses to concede. We'll see how it all goes, and you know what we'll be doing tomorrow. We'll have special <laughs> live coverage for you tomorrow night that starts at 7 o'clock right after the evening news. We'll bring you the results and take you live to the campaign headquarters across the city and the suburbs. You can watch us right here on Channel 9 or stream our coverage at WGNTV.com or through the WGN Plus app.